Hello viewers and welcome back. Thank you for joining me, taking the time to watch my video. Today I want to talk real quickly about what I think would be considered the best Milwaukee tool. Now I know that's real controversy. I know there's 150 ways you could go. But in this theory, I'm looking at it as if general homeowner, handyman, do-it-yourselfer, weekend mechanic, um, around the shop, around the home, anything from putting together those uh, pieces of furniture to kids' toys to taking the starter off your car, you know, radiator, um, you know, just all around general. If you could have one for general purpose, it would have to be this one. It would have to be it. It's the impact driver. It's a fourth of an inch. Claims to be a hundred foot pounds. I know it. I know it goes to ninety. I've tested it to ninety. But I mean, overall, I've used this this little uh, Milwaukee impact driver. And the good thing is, you know, you just you can use these kind of bits on them, and then you can just push them in. You don't even have to pull this back. Just take it out. There's all kinds of bits and bit adapters for sockets and stuff. But I've just used the heck out of this since I've gotten Milwaukee several months ago. Pretty much anything. I mean, I've used it for everything. If you only have one, and you're dealing in the realm that I specified already, I'm not talking about a heavy mechanic that all you do is heavy mechanics, then none of this would work. You would need to start up here like something like this. But for the general homeowner, the DIYer, weekend warrior, whatever, this baby right here, and these batteries, they last forever. I, when I first got this, I could have swore that there's no way this battery would last an hour. Uh, this battery's been going at least an hour and a half. And as you can see, it's still at four bars. But anyway, the battery's not the issue. The issue is the versatility and what you can do for this, for its price. This little 12 volt, it's an impact driver. Uh, squeeze the trigger slowly if you want to go slow. It's just, uh, I think this is the best all around power tool from Milwaukee. But a close second, would be this 3 8 ratchet. This thing's got 55 foot-pounds of torque. It's got a light. Um, what I like about it is once you're th you're done, uh, you know, say you need to go 60, 65 pounds or whatever, you don't think the bolt's tight enough, you can, once you get it tight, then you can just pull it just like it's a regular ratchet. So, you know, you're not dependent upon when this uh, torques out, you can use it just like a regular ratchet. That's that's neat. This would be a close second. However, I shouldn't say close second. This would be second. But uh, I just wanted to make this, what's your choice for your general all around one tool? If you had to pick one, and again, we're talking about the things I said, homeowner, DIYer, uh, weekend mechanic, stuff like that of your power tools from Milwaukee, uh, what's the one that you would consider all around? You know, I've also used this with a, uh, a bit from Milwaukee and put uh, sockets on the end of this. I've put everything, hexes. Like I said, I've used this, out of all my Milwaukee power tools, I've used this 99% of the time. And I've yet to have it fail for what I'm doing. And the second most thing I used, of course, would be this baby. All right, just wondering. I think that's the best tool. It's also the fuel brushless. Uh, if you only have one, and using the parameters I said, I would go with this one right here. All right, guys and gals, that's all I got for you today. As always, I appreciate everybody that views and subscribes. We'll talk to you soon.